Hey everybody, welcome back. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. I'm Chris, and today I'm going to do a little bit of a different video. I'm going to take you on a small tour of this area here where I store all my wax and work and record and all that happy business. Um, it shouldn't be too long, but you know how I can get carried away with my videos. So, that being said, I'm going to turn the camera around and let's get started. Okay guys, so going to bring you into my office, wax room, catch-all room, and show you around, give you an idea of how I'm storing stuff and brief idea of what I've got. I'm not going to go through the scents, obviously, but I'm just going to show you where it's stored and how it's stored. All right, so I'll just walk in here and I'll give a quick look around. I like those little containers, those baskets. They work really well. Yeah, there's the stupid buddies that I stupidly purchased, but whatever. Okay, so we come over here. There's more wax. It's basically all wax. Um, kid stuff there. Books, coloring books, crayons. And back to the entrance. Anyway, so this is my desk. And I'm uploading my Knowles Farm video right now. So this is where I work, record, and whatever. I feel like playing, right? I feel like sitting here sniffing wax, which I do from time to time. So there's two computers. The one on the bottom is actually my work computer, and that is also attached to the large monitor because I like to work off two monitors for my job. And yeah, that's my Sassy Girl Aroma print out there just waiting to be ordered. And I got my little garden warmer here. There's a ring light back there. I come over here this is my printer printer stuff I have a plug there that I use when I'm doing videos for if I'm showing a warmer okay so here I have this is all sensey stuff dish soap and counter clean and yeah there was that crazy ass flash sale that they had and those bitty buddies were actually like a dollar fifty or a dollar eighty or some crazy I bought a crap ton of them. I have since used a lot of them and given them like as gifts and whatnot to customers. Okay. In this closet here is toys. So <clears throat> we don't need to look at the toys. I already have it spilling out. That's my granddaughter's little dollhouse. So here we have Sassy Girl. And I like to store Sassy in these thin bins because... It's just nice because I could just go through and file through them and see what I want. I'm trying to see if you could. Well, when you're standing here, it's easier to see. So like it's either easy to just, you know, pick up and. Oh, there's that Banshee flight. Oh my God, it's so good. Anyway, so I just, you know, file through here. Um, I have more of these bins that I'm going to use. This here is a big basket of scent pods. Yep, the whole thing's full. That's going actually going to go down cellar in my basement because that's where I use the scent pods. Okay, and then down here, this is all my, you know, these are pretty big. So this is um, oh, second and spruce. This is completely full. I've got another order on the way. This down here is L3. Like I said, there's a pretty, yeah, there's a lot of wax in there. And that's why I have these extra containers. Now in these cabinets, I am storing um, all my Scentsy. This middle one has got teddy bees in it. So, I got about 300, I'm down to about 350 bars of Scentsy, and I'm trying to get this down. So, on the top shelf, I have like fresh scents and floral. In the middle shelf, 
to the bottom shelf goes, well, there's some summer bakery in there and some summer fruit that I don't mind. Perfumey type scents. Um, nice bedroom scents. Okay. That's that. And then if I open up this, this is where Teddy's going. That's what I have so far for Teddy. They're not really organized at all by scent types yet. I suppose I'll have to do that at some point. And then this one here is more scentsy. And, oh, all right. So the top shelf is Appley Pumpkin Fall, Spicy Fall. The middle shelf is like bakery and coffee and whatnot. And, and the bottom shelf is more like Christmas and holiday to the left. And over here is trees because you know how I feel about trees. I don't like any of the Scentsy tree scents. So I've got to do something with that. It's my shooting star warmer from Scentsy. I do not, the only warmer I am using right now in here for these warmers back here is this one here, the um, Alice in Wonderland. Because it's an element warmer and there's no light. Um, they are all plugged in underneath these cabinets here. I've got a power strip. You can kind of see it. And I plug them in there. I'm sorry if I'm making you guys dizzy. Okay, so in these two boxes here, these are my lavender and speckles um, samplers. Oh, sorry. These are samples. And this box is filled with the lavender and speckles samples that I've purchased for her. You know, she had that. I did the Palo. I got a Beach Nights. And what's the other one? I don't remember. Uh, cocoa Butter and Cashmere. So in here I've got, this is all lavender and speckles. Down here, I've got Rose Girls. I don't have a lot of Rose Girls. I'm, I, I'm, I'm mixed on her, so I'm just keeping it light right now. This here is the Speechless Sampler, which I'm crazy about that blend of hers. And this is like something like Dark Desires or something, which is very, very nice. It's like perfumey scents. And okay, this here is. Oh, this curio cabinet used to be in my dining room. I have a large collection of Swarovski crystal. It's not in here. Most of it's packed away because I didn't want to transfer it from my from the cabinet and then back into the cabinet. So I just kept a few things in here. Um... Yeah, this was in my dining room at one point, then it moved to my living room, and then when I remodeled a little bit, did some redecorating, I didn't want the curio anymore, but I didn't want to throw it out because it's a pretty piece of furniture. And I have such a large Sensi, or Swarovski crystal collection, I thought, well, if, I ever, if this ever comes back out when I stop doing nails, I'll put this back into my dining room. And so, yeah, and that piece there in the middle... That was my mother's. My mother had a huge uh, Armani collection. And when she passed away, this was the only piece I really wanted. I mean, she had beautiful pieces, but we gave all the um, pieces to my brother. And me and my sister, we each kept a piece and gave a piece to each of our grandkids. But that's the one I chose. It's like a, look, just reminded me of a mother-daughter thing. So I wanted that. That's my daughter. And behind her is my mother hanging on their ornaments, Christmas ornaments. Okay, so here is my, this is where I put all this, when I'm done melting, I put my clams in there so I could do my videos. Those are my bricks, more scentsy stuff. This other basket here 
These are all samples. More bricks. More counter clean because I actually I love counter clean. This here I never filmed. It's just a collection of small vendor purchases I made. Purchases I made. So there's some L3 in there. I think I got a couple things from Hayden Row. Maybe like two. Yeah, they're very small. I kept just minimal. I never bothered to film it. This here, this cabinet, is or should be where I store all my nail stuff, my excess supplies. Um, is in here. Files, table towels, acetone, alcohol, filters for my dust collector fan. Uh, no, I do not do acrylic nails because it stinks, but I do do hard gel, which is not like gel nails. It's their extensions, but it's called hard gel, and really nobody does hard gel nails. Um, so it is a specialty. Then we got more scentsy stuff. I got, I don't know, like 25 fragrance flowers there, catalogs. I've got filters for my dust collector or my air, scentsy air filters, purifier. Uh, I got some bath soaps that I picked up. I don't take baths. I like showers, but I bought that because I was going to do samples for um, customers, and then they decided to retire the bath line or the bath soaps. So, that being said, I got all this stuff, so I think I'm going to use that when I do pedicures. I'll just use it there just to, you know, use it up. I got car bars in there and... Scent packs are in there. I got more scent packs over here. Stuff like that. All right. And then up here, this is just like an homage to my daughter. That doll back there, she got, and her godmother bought her this doll for Christmas when she was two. And that doll went everywhere. Her name's Dolly. And she has been washed by me, unstuffed. I would delicately take the seams, the open up the back, unstuff her, throw it in the trash, put the shell in the washing machine, and wash her. And I would restuff her and sew her back up. And I did that for years and years and years. Dolly is like part of the family. And that's one of her little stuffed animals. This here is a shirt. It's a pillow that her best friend made after she passed away. And it's out of one of Kayla's um, shirts. Yes, her name was Kayla. I always referred to her as my daughter, but she does have a name. That's a picture of her and my grandson. It was Christmas Eve and we were at my daughter's house and she said to me when I picked her up from her house to go to my other daughter's house, she said to me, I want to get a picture of me and Jackson by the Christmas tree every year. So this was the first picture and this was the last picture because she passed away in January after Christmas. So every year um, I take a picture of my grandson holding this picture in front of the Christmas tree so that I'm sorry I could honor her wishes. Anyway. That cross there is from, um, this is supposed to be a happy video. It's from, it was a floral arrangement that somebody had sent, um, from her, uh, funeral. And behind that, that is a Build-A-Bear. Oh, and that, okay, so the Build-A-Bear is the camouflage guy. So her and I went to the Galleria Mall after... Um, she found out she was having a boy and we had his heartbeat recorded and we went to the Build-A-Bear and we did a Build-A-Bear. So if I squeeze his hand, you could hear the heartbeat, but it's more her heartbeat, which is comforting. And that little guy there, my girlfriend had sent that to me. He's got a little purple outfit on and, uh, somebody where she works at the school she works at makes them. And she sent that to me after Kayla had passed away, and uh, it's purple, because my daughter had epilepsy, and she did pass away from a grand mal seizure. Okay, 
So now, enough of that. We're going to get back to the rest of the room. Again, I have uh, stuff here for my grandkids. There's books and coloring books and crayons and just stuff. And then, come down here. In this box here, I've got my K's wax melts. Um, just curing. Then down here, I've got another bin basket. This one is holding melted mousse, some more sassy girl. I got loaves and stuff in there. Down here in this basket is stuff that Summer Michelle and Stephanie from Steph Loves Life had sent me. This is my recent Knowles Farm um, purchase. Of course, that basket's going to grow. But for now, that's where he's going. I got some cotton cleanup, some extra whiff box. Yes, I kind of like to save those silver packages that the Scentsy Wax comes in. And some more boxes. A lot of those, some of those have um, like light bulbs and stuff for the Scentsy warmers being stored in there. And then they've ex kind of, you know, overflowed. And then I got some, you know, there's mailing stuff there for customers. Up here is the stuff that came out of my melting basket that I did. So I'm going to keep that there. So I've got kitchen, living room, uh, bathroom, bedroom, or vice versa. So I will choose one from each to do. What I'm trying to do is whittle through or power through my Scentsy bars. I want to get that down so I have a better balance of vendor to Scentsy wax so I can start intermingling and interchanging them. But I need to get the Scentsy wax down. So I want to do that. And yeah, I think that's all. Oh, there's my keyboard. I put my wireless keyboard there for work because I use a keyboard, not the laptop. And those are all orders, wax orders. I've got wax bags under there, a wax cutter, and then in that box are like gift bags of all different shapes and sizes so that if I do a local order for uh, uh, customers, I'll put their Scentsy order in a nice bag with tissue paper and all that jazz just to, you know, like to make it nice. Okay, so look at me. I'm all out of breath. Anyway, I think my video might be just about done. So, yeah, that's pretty much it, you guys. A little fan in the corner. I'm not going to show you the closet with the toys because that's just silly. So, yeah, that's all the wax. Extra bins for wax. Warmers, animals, you know. So, anyway, that is my wax room. And uh, I'm going to turn the camera around and we, or I will be right back with you shortly. Okay, I'm back. So that was my brief tour, or not so brief tour, of um, this area where I do all my stuff and store all my wax and other things too, actually. But yeah, so I'm probably going to run out of room, but I'm pretty good at organizing stuff somewhat. So I'll figure it out. And I um, just wanted to go over real quickly what I'm trying to do with my Scentsy Wax. So, like I said, a lot of people probably have more bars than that. I'm down to, I think when I last checked my spreadsheet, it's 350. I want to get that down. So my goal is for the month of September and into October to only melt Scentsy Wax while my vendor wax is curing. So when mid-October, late October rolls around, I'm going to start pulling in the vendor wax more and melting that because I think it would have enough time to have sat for a bit. Um, and if not, I'll just continue melting uh, Scentsy. Um, yeah, I just feel like I feel like I have, I, I have, I think I have more vendor wax than I do Scentsy wax. However, 
this vendor wax is not going to last as long in the warmers as the Scentsy wax does. So I'm going to get through bulk of that so that then I'll have just an even balance of vendor and Scentsy. Because I'm not going to give up my Scentsy. I do like Scentsy. I sell Scentsy. Um, so I do want to continue with that path for now. Um, even though I, I'm my best customer with Scentsy. But I do have customers, and I have some very good customers. So, anyway, that being said, that was my video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or comments or maybe things that I could do differently in here, let me know. Like I said, it's just kind of like a catch-all room. It's just a hodgepodge of stuff. And um, I'm making the best with what I got here, right? Anyway, so yeah, if you have any questions, let me know. Um, and I will answer them for you. So thank you again for watching. I always appreciate everybody that watches. Please comment, like, and subscribe. I'm trying to raise my subscriber count. Um, I would like to do a giveaway at 500 subscribers and then work on getting to the thousand and do another giveaway. Um, I think it'd be fun. So spread the word, share my channel with your friends your other waxy friends and wax addict friends, and um, I'd appreciate it. And again, I hope you all have a good weekend, and I will talk to you really soon. Bye-bye.